Hi, this is Lori Rulin. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor for InDesign and Illustrator. For today's movie, I'd like to show you some of the preferences and some of the default settings that InDesign ships with and how to change those to make your working environment a little more user-friendly. If I go to File New and go over to Document, and I'll just take the defaults here, you'll notice that I have a dark interface in the background. All of my text and my uh, little buttons at the top are white on black or dark. I'd go to InDesign Preferences or Edit Preferences on the PC and then choose Interface. Up at the top here you'll see Color Theme. By switching it to Medium Light instead of Medium Dark, now I see a lighter screen with darker text. I'll click OK and this is the way that I personally like to work. Now a second one of these uh, defaults is the measurement system. When InDesign ships and installs onto your desktop it is using the default measurement system of PICAs. So if I make a box and look up at the top of my width and height, you'll see 20p by 13p. I personally love PICAs, but a lot of people need to use inches. So one way to change the measurement system for an open document is to take your mouse, go over to the left side, and where these rulers meet, just right click. By right clicking, you'll get a little menu and you can switch it to inches. Now the problem with this is that you're only making this change for this document. If I would go to File New Document, you'll see that it's still going to give me the next new document in PICAs. So what I'd like to do now is to show you how to make that change so it's universal so that every time you make a new document, your measurement system will be in inches. Again, we'll go back to the Preferences command in Design Preferences or Edit Preferences for PC and come down to Units and Increments. Over here you'll see the horizontal and vertical values and we'll bring them down to inches. And I'll click OK. Because I did that change with no other documents open, it has changed the InDesign default. So now I'll go to InDesign's File New, choose Document, and you'll see that it's an 8.5 by 11 document. I'll click OK. Alright, another thing that I like to set up on a new uh, machine is my workspace. So if you go up to the top right corner you'll see Essentials. Now I'm going to switch this to Advanced and Reset Advanced just to get it back to the way the default would, would ship. Now I personally don't like to open up a panel and make my changes into this panel and then close it back up again. What I'd rather see is all of the panels all at one time. I click on this little button in the top right corner that'll open or collapse my panels. So I'll open them up and then I can make changes to which panels are active at the time. And I might even take paragraph styles and add it into object styles. I'll move my screen around and you can see that I can allocate a different amount of room for each one of these panels. Now if I like this way that my panels are arranged, I would need to save the workspace. To save the workspace, I'll come down to New Workspace. I'll type in my name. I'll click OK and now my name shows up at the top right corner to indicate the active workspace. The great thing about this is I can pull out and move around any of these panels and if I want to clean everything back up again I simply choose reset my workspace name and everything goes back to where it's supposed to be. Now another thing that I like to do in that workspace is to colorize my menu commands. So to color code a menu choice, I'll go down to Edit Menus and I'll choose a menu command. So here I'll choose Object and then I'll click on say Group and over to the right side I'll choose a color. Text Frame Options is another thing that I like to highlight to make sure people will actually choose Text Frame Options. So now I'll click OK and you'll notice that my menu commands have a colored background to them. The problem with this is I have to reset or resave, I should say, my workspace. So I'll go back over to the right, choose New Workspace. Now instead of typing in the name again, I can just pull this down and choose my name. I'll click OK. It asks me if I want to replace it. I say yes. So now when I pull these panels out and really kind of mess them up and maybe close them, get them to go away here, I can go just take a look at my colors there. I can go back to reset. All my panels go back, but my colors will stay. 
The last thing I want to show is publish online. Now I'm not going to go through what is publish online or how to do it. I'll do that in a future movie. But the problem many people have here is by moving over the top of publish online, you will get this big, huge dialog box that shows up. Now again, Adobe is kind of saying, hey, this is a new feature, click on me. But when we're working, we don't really want to see that big, huge dialog box showing up. So let me show you two ways to get rid of that dialog box. So the first way I want to show you is to go to preferences and come down to the bottom where it says technology previews. By choosing technology previews, I can simply turn this little check mark off. And you'll notice when I click OK that the publish online button is just gone. Now the problem with this is that you may forget that this is even an option. Um, in order to turn it back on, you'd go back to preferences, technology previews, and simply turn it back on again. The other way to make the publish online button stay here, but to stop that big dialog box from showing up every time you roll over it, is to simply publish something online. So I've got a blank document here, just hit publish online, and you can choose the title, the description. You honestly really don't even need to do any of this. Just hit publish. And by publishing that document online, it's automatically going to say, oh, you've used the feature. Now you don't need to get that dialog box showing up every single time. So now I can hit view the document. And if I go over to my Google Chrome here, you'll see here's my published document online. Close that up and click close right here. And now you'll see that that little dialog box will not keep showing up on publish online button. So I hope you've enjoyed some of these usability uh, tricks for changing your preferences, saving some workspaces, colorizing your menus, and changing your screen from dark to light.